<laughs> Hi, everyone. What's going on? I don't know if this is going to be a thing, but I feel like I have to try to make it a thing, right? Vlogmas has been a thing since 2015 for me. Although the past couple of years, I've vlogged every day. I just haven't posted any of it. I think the two years ago, I posted some of it at some point. Um, but I think last year I fell off the map. So I have all these like, I, I think I have a bunch of footage and I just never posted it. Maybe one day that'll get posted. Anyways, uh, welcome to Vlogmas 2022. Today is Thursday, December 1st. Technically the first day of Vlogmas. I don't really know when Vlogmas is supposed to start. You know what's so funny? There's Jaspy boy. Um, today would have been such a perfect day for me to vlog. And then I just didn't. I didn't charge any of my batteries. I didn't have anything. So I'm using my phone right now, which I know is not great and it makes my arm tired. But like literally after work today, I went to the mall. I did some shopping. I got a massage. It was wonderful. I really wanted a smoothie, but they were closed. And now I'm just hanging out. Um, I have a couple things I need to do on the computer. And then, yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't really have anything planned. And all the things that I probably should have shown you, shown you, shown you, showed you, I didn't. But uh, we'll see if we can get some Vlogmas stuff going this year. I do have like two advent calendars. I, I told myself I wasn't going to do the whole thing. That actually I feel like is my stress point with Vlogmas was the advent calendars. So maybe I'll just like do my best. But I did get like, I think I got a... um a mini brand balls, the Disney advent calendar, and then maybe one other one. And then I got two Harry Potter sock calendars because those are only 12 days. And they were actually two different calendars, but I was interested to see what the designs were going to be, like if they were going to be way different. Because one of the artworks had like book art and one of them had like the movie art. And so I was like, wait, is one of these going to be like book art socks? And the other one's going to be movie art socks. But I do need some new socks anyway. So I think it's going to be good. So Vlogmas is happening this year. Don't hold your breath. Don't know how great it's going to be. It might be kind of janky, but we're just going to go with it. I don't even want to show you my house right now because it is a hot mess. Like I, it looks like a tornado went through my house because I just uh, finished, which I haven't posted yet, but Jackson's goodie bags. And then I'm actually in the process of trying to do Maddie's goodie bags because her birthday is on it's technically on the 6th I think but she's having her party on Saturday and I asked Dana if she wanted me to help her with goodie bags and she said yes so I can't wait to show you the stuff I got today um premise for those goodie bags I think I'm gonna put these little drawstring backpacks because I got them in bulk for Jackson's uh goodie bags I'm gonna put snacks snacks and candy in those maybe some small things like bouncy balls and I have these I found some good um, squishy keychains from Amazon that I really liked. I got these during Halloween. Um, so I have a whole box of those. And uh, and then I got some stickers. She's really into Naruto right now. Naruto? Naruto. I never say it right. And then I also got these boba, like, kawaii stickers because she is into that. And then what I was thinking... I don't know if we're going to do this because I just texted Dana asking if it was going to be like doing too much. But basically, um, I went to the mall today and got a crap ton of like random Naruto stuff. Figural keychains. I got mini posters. I got a hat. I got a blanket. I got, I think, a pit, like a pillow thing. I got um, a mystery magnets. I got like random things. And what I want to do is on top of the bag of snacks... I want to bring out, I didn't, you guys don't know I have this, but I got these like weird gachapon machines from Japan, but they're not real gachapon machines because you, you can't put real coins. You have to use these plastic tokens, but they're still cool. And I got the little balls. And so I was thinking about putting like, like hat or socks in the gachapon and then the kids take turns. They get a gachapon from the machine and then it tells them what prize they win and they get to pick like if they get socks. I got like three different types of Naruto socks so they can like pick which one they want or like if they got the hat or you know whatever. And so there's that and then I was thinking maybe of having Maddie help me pick out like I don't know how many people are coming and I think it's actually a surprise I just realized. 
Anyways, I'm picking out like 10 or 15 random Funko Pops and in the Gachapon ball where it'll say like sock or magnet or keychain or whatever, also having a Funko Pop number and then they get to pick a Funko Pop like whatever. And those won't be Naruto themed because I don't have, I don't have enough Naruto. I don't even know if I have any Naruto pop. So, um, I think that's what I'm going to try to do for that. I think that's going to be cool. Like, I think it'd be cool. I just don't know if it'd take too much time. So we'll see what Dana says about it. Who knows? Um, anyways, I'll show you in a second once I, um, I'm heating up a TV dinner, but I'll get all this stuff from my car so I can show it to you. Cause I think it's, I think it's a cool idea. I also got Maddie, a few birthday gifts. I don't know if she watches. I don't think she watches my videos. So maybe I'll show you guys what those things are too. Okay. Here's where we're at. I just pulled all the stuff from my car, but I actually don't think I got enough stuff. So I may have to go back to the mall because it sounds like there may be like 15 kids at this party. So here's the stuff that people can potentially win by pulling the gotcha pawn. Not potentially. I mean, everyone's going to get one prize, but by pulling the gotcha pawn ball. We have these... They're like figural keychains, but these are magnets, so they're not keychains, I guess. I got two of those. Uh, I got two of these figural keychains. I might go back to Spencer's and get a couple more of those because I just got two of those. And I got two of these mystery. These are like, they're like the figural keychains, but they're plushy. But I don't even know which ones you can win because they don't even show you. Um, I got this cool hat. This is one of the better prizes. And these mystery posters. Oh, they're not mystery posters, mini posters. I got this Naruto pillow thing. Um, I got a bunch of socks. I don't know if I'll put all these socks out. I What happened was I got these two from Hot Topic. And then I went to FYE and they had a sock sale. Buy two, get one free. So I ended up getting these because these are like two packs, which I thought was even cooler. I got this blanket. I got this pillow and blanket combo. I kind of want to give this to Maddie as a gift. So I may pull that one out, but this was $20 and this was $20, but they had a sales buy one, get one free. So I technically got these two things for $20, $10 each. That's a good price. But realistically, I don't think I have enough stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Maybe I have enough stuff. I might get a couple. I didn't really plan to put this many socks out because I think as a child, I don't know if winning socks is as cool. So I kind of want to just have like maybe two of the socks out. Um, so I might go back and try to get these or whatever. And then uh, Maddie's going to come over on Saturday morning, I think, and help me pick out Funko Pops um, to bring to offer to her friends. Oh, I also got this magnet. It was on clearance, but I think I might just give that to Maddie as a gift because I think if like I pulled a gotcha pond and I had to get this, I'd be a little bit sad. Even though technically this is the same thing as this, I assume, but it's not as much fun, you know? Also, this is the backpack that I got for Maddie as a gift. They had four different designs. I went with this one, but I got a gift receipt just in case she doesn't like it. But this is, I think this is, is this a lounge fly? Oh, it's not. I definitely thought it was a lounge fly, but this is just a Bio World. I haven't seen Bio World in forever. You know what they had a store opening in the mall? It was Otaku House. Isn't that crazy? The sub box. But I also got these. I got these on Black Friday from Hot Topic. They're different wallets. So I'll put a dollar in each of these and then give those to her as well. Um, I mean, I guess I could put one of the wallets in the prize thing, but I don't know how wallets work. That's kind of weird. The other thing that I have to do, whoa, I turned the lights off. That was, how come this light's not turning on? Oh no, what's wrong? Oh, the light was on dim. Weird. Um, the other thing that I have to do, but not today, is on Tuesday, I'm going to this like luncheon thing. And part of the luncheon is you have to bring like a gift basket. And so I'm trying to figure out what to come up with for my gift basket because I think I'm going to bring like two or three, but I want to do a mystery box. Like how cool would that be? I think a mystery box would be super cool because like, I don't know. It just seems like I could have a theme, you know, like I think I want to do like back to the nineties and have a theme mystery box, but I also want to do like fun desk accessories and like put some Funko Pops and some fun like desk accessories because you know, it's like a work luncheon. 
So I think I'll probably put that together on Sunday. I'm really excited about that because I'm excited to just go in my garage and go upstairs and be like, okay, what can I put together? So many things going on. Anyways, I'm going to do a little bit of work on the computer and then maybe I'll see if I can, uh, that's guess, see if I can uh, pull out the advent calendars and we can do that real quick. Yeah, yeah, it's not that big of a deal, right? Advent calendars are easy. I'll just do it fast. I just won't take very long. That's all. Okay, let me do this stuff on the computer first. Oh, you guys are such a hot mess right now. Okay, I honestly don't want to go all the way upstairs to get the sock calendar. So we're just going to do some quick advent, throw together advent. This is the, um, I actually did get two advent calendars, but one of them was a Funko Pop one that was like a Marvel one. And I don't even know if I really care to open that because I think I did that one last year or one that was similar and it was okay. But this I got from Target a while ago. Um, it's mini brand brands, but it's like Disney. I actually haven't opened any of these up yet. This will be my first time, but I did get some of the balls on Black Friday and then we'll just open up this pack of Pokemon cards. So, you know, we'll just do it simple for the first day. Um, so here we go. Day number one. Wait, is this what it's going to be? Do they basically tell us what it's going to be? That's kind of not fun. So this might be Grogu. Oh, it's not. Just kidding. Okay, so we got... Oh! Oh my god, you guys. No. No, Alexa, it scared me. It was... That was, that was really scary. Oh my gosh. Alexa just, like, turned on. Okay, let's see. You know, isn't it crazy that iPhones, when you just turn on the video, it's already on, like, one zoom? And then when you turn it to the, like, out, zoom out, it's, like, kind of funky. It's kind of far. Okay, so here's the one. So we got this little Buzz Lightyear. This is cool. I like when they actually have toys. Sometimes with the mini brands, they've just been, like, little, like, containers, and they're not as cool. But this one is actually pretty cool. So it's a mini Buzz Lightyear. I'll take that. What other things can we get in this thing? Like, I see Frozen. Oh, here. Ooh. Forky? Are we going to get him? I hope so. <gasps> is it going to be a gold one? A special edition gold one? There are, I think, three exclusives in here. I don't know which ones. I'm assuming that gold uh, Forky is going to be one right i think so Look, should we guess i think this silver r2d2 actually that just might be a regular r2d2 what looks special edition oh maybe what is that a mini mouse a gold mini mouse i'm gonna guess whatever this gold mini mouse is and then the golden Forky and hmm, I don't know what the other special edition one is gonna be. Is it does it tell us? I don't know. Oh, that one? Cars? Maybe. Okay. Anyways, so that was the mini brands, and then tomorrow I'll get the sock. I'll get the sock calendar thing out and then we'll just try that. Okay, now let's quickly just do this pack of Pokemon cards. I was going to buy that. Po Pokemon actually came out with a, an official advent calendar that you could buy in stores. But it was like $50 and it didn't even have all the packs. Like not all of the packs were um, actual packs. What does that mean? One, two, three, four. Like... The, oh, every day it wasn't a pack. Like, there were some things that were just, like, random things, and I didn't really want that. This is Brilliant Stars. I actually, I'll be honest, man, when you go to click the whole set, and then you do, opening the packs are no longer fun. So I don't actually have that much fun opening Brilliant Stars because I already have all the cards. But, you know, if I pull something good, it's still fun to give away. Um, I still give away a lot of Pokemon cards. Ah, we got nothing. Reverse Hollow Muck and an S. Cavalier. So that one was a little bit. I should get enough packs where every day we open up a pack and if we we don't stop until we get a hit. <gasps> I might do that. I might I might change that up a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. And then so tomorrow we'll do double sock calendar since I didn't do it today. Um but yeah, we got our little Buzz Lightyear. Neat. I should get the Disney store 
to display them. Last time I tried to get the toy store one to display all my toys and Amy said no. <laughs> okay, well, I made myself want to do the whole open a Pokemon pack until we get a hit. So, and any hit that's higher than an ultra rare, basic, or like an ultra rare higher. So, not a hollow hit, but like, you know, you guys know. So it could be a trainer gallery also, or whatever. I don't even know, does this set have trainer galleries or did we, do we just know that we don't have a hit because we got a white code card? Okay, nothing in that one. I'm gonna need to buy another booster box to use for the advent calendars. And that would be what, much smarter. Because I mean, booster boxes in general have about 14 hits. Oh no, I got this giant collection box from Sam's Club. It was actually, it's pretty cool. I think it's like, I don't know how much it costs. I can't remember if it's 40 or 50, but it has like a lot of packs in it and some good packs too. Nothing, 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 nothing. I wonder how many packs we'd have to open. That'd be interesting. Okay, if I were to actually do this where I open up Pokemon packs every single day and I, I don't stop opening until I get a hit total in the 24 days, so through Christmas Eve, how many packs of Pokemon cards do you think I would have needed to open? I mean, we're already on. This is what? This is pack number four already, just in one day. Oh, oh that would be a fun social experience. I think we're good. As you can tell, you guys, I'm still into opening up Pokemon cards. I've been doing it, even though I haven't been posting videos, I've been opening up Pokemon cards uh, for the past, just, I never stopped. I just, I just kept going. Literally, I just didn't, actually I filmed a lot of, um, you actually didn't see any of the Brilliant Stars videos, but I, I filmed every single Brilliant Stars opening, I just never posted them. And I have been opening up a lot of, uh, what Silver Tempest is the new set, I've definitely opened up uh, a few booster boxes, not too many. But man, this could get deadly, I would definitely, oh, okay, we got a hit. We're going to stop there. A Radiant Greninja. Not the best hit, but it is technically a hit. So today we needed to open up one, two, three, four, five packs before we got a hit. So in this whole series of Vlogmas, if I really did do that, which I'm, I'm totally going to do it, how many packs do you think I would have needed to open up? 24 days. We're including these five packs. I'm going to go with, oh my gosh. I think we'll get lucky some days. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to say 59. I think it really depends on where I'm getting the packs from. Like, obviously, if we get a booster box, those things usually have anywhere from 12 to 15 hits. But right now, I'm pulling from from um, from this collection box thing. So, yeah, I'm going to go with, what did I say? Wait, I don't even remember what I just said. 50, did I say 58 or 59? Let's do... 59, because I think it's going to take more like 60, but I'm going to go a little bit lower. So 59. Okay, put your guesses in. And uh, and at the end of Vlogmas, and Vlogmas ends on day 24, right? Technically, it doesn't. I think I can Vlogmas until like after Christmas, but I think Advent calendars end on Christmas Eve. So we're going to say from now until Christmas Eve, how many packs do you think I'm going to total open with our advent calendars if the rule is that I can't stop until I get a hit. And if I open up random packs that aren't part of the advent calendars, that doesn't count. Like if I'm just opening up packs in my day-to-day -day life for funsies, that doesn't count. Because <laughs> I can see that happening too. Okay, put your guesses in the comment section. I realize I need to reintroduce you guys to the cats. Gus, Gus, this is Gus. Oh, Gus is the one that doesn't have the white tip on his tail. He's the he was what I thought was the little runt. I don't know if you remember the little cat that used to sit and suckle on our shirts. That's Gus. This is Mr. Jasper. Jasper boy, he's cuddly. He doesn't like being held, but he cuddles up the yin yang. So like when I'm sitting on the couch or sleeping, he'll fall asleep in my lap and then he'll just like roll over. Right now he's just chillaxing. And here is Mr. Mac, my old guy. <laughs> Mac is March, April, May, June, July, August, September. In September, he celebrated his half birthday. So he's he's 16 years and like nine months. He's almost 17 years old. He's doing well. He's definitely slowed down a bit. He's a little bit more impatient with everybody. 
including the kittens. Poor kittens sometimes. Um, but he still snuggles. You can tell that he's getting a little bit shaky on the legs and he's definitely bony. You can't really tell because of his fur, but he's lost a lot of weight. So he's he's definitely slowly losing weight. I think he's probably in the nine pound range right now. He's always been kind of a right below 10 pound cat, I think, but he's getting a little bit lower. So we do lots of snuggles. I try to clean his nails when he lets me and his ears and his teeth, but that's not often. But you know what? He's a good boy. And then I'll tell you the story about Bobby Boy, who's our outdoor cat. That's not really ours, but he's had a he's had a go at it. I'll show you him tomorrow. There's Gus again. These are all the toys I put here because Matt goes hunting. I actually think he's been hunting and putting in there, but usually every night.